intro back here for another video. Um, I know I've not been around for a little while. Been a uh, busy couple of weeks. Um, not really had a chance. Um, had my birthday, had my holiday. Um, had Retro Revival 2013. And got quite a lot of stuff for you to show. This is uh, obviously my latest update. This is my first video since the holiday. Uh, and I wanted to show you a bunch of stuff that I picked up. Um, the video footage from Retro Revival is on its way up now. Um, at the event I picked up a bunch of um, Game Gear games from Kieran, including Micro Machines, Space Harrier, Bart Simpson vs. Space Mutants, Robocop vs. Terminator, there's a Power Rangers game as well. Power Rangers, yeah. Tasmania as well. So those are all the Game Gear games that I got. Uh, I also got this. Now I know. It burns! It burns us! Nintendo, you know. But I wanted to get one. Uh, I've been I've been I'm in an iron for about about it for for a while now. And it only cost me forty quid and I got you know, I got all the trim ins. I picked up an extra controller. And I've got a game with it as well, so I have six games for the SNES now. I have Super Mario Kart, Super Mario All Stars. It's not the one with Super Mario World, unfortunately. Star Wing, which is obviously the real name of it, is Star Wop, Star Fox. Street Racer, which I didn't think was going to be any good, but it's actually really good. Tasmania, and Awesome F Zero. So, the only one that I really want to get for that now is the um, Super Metroid. Uh, also, what did I get from the event? I got Space Harrier 2 on the Mega Drive. And on eBay the other week, I got this, which I saw this playing at the event and I remembered it and I realised I haven't got that. I don't know why, but I remembered seeing that. Um, I also went into a couple of raffles and I won this, which is a nice hoodie. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be from Tekken or um, King of Fighters or Street Fighter, I'm not sure which one it is, but I like that. I was quite happy with that. Uh, for my birthday, I got a shitload of 360 games, Sonic and All-Stars Racing Transformed. Crisis 3, haven't played these, these two yet. I've started Bioshock Infinite, very awesome. Tomb Raider, Darksiders 2, and with a bunch of vouchers I've got a load of Blu-rays and Armored Core 5. I'm not going to show you much about them, because obviously they're not retro, so people might scream and shout at me for showing them. The other thing that I wanted to show was... Where's my old phone? Oh, oh there it is, yeah, there's my old phone. This wonderful little device. This is the iPega. And this is obviously a controller. It's Bluetooth. And what you do is you open that clip at the top. You put your phone nicely in there. And then basically what it allows you to do is you connect it to the phone via Bluetooth. And it allows you to play video games with the controller instead of the shitty buttons on the screen. Now, I'm not sure about the Android games that it works with yet, but thus far it works perfectly with all my emulation software. So I've got a SNES emulator, Game Gear, and Master System emulator, and a Mega Drive emulator. And they all work awesomely. So I was very happy with that, and that was a very reasonable price of £17. And the only other thing that I got for my birthday that was retro related was this, which I haven't read yet. This looks pretty awesome. Service Games, The Rise and Fall of Sega. I'm very much looking forward to reading that. Um, not really a lot else going on at the moment. I need to do some footage of some of my newer games. I've got loads of pro projects that I really want to work on at some point. Um, I was very lucky with the SNES because I got a... Um, I didn't get an official RF lead with it. I actually got an... Unof well, I think it's official. I don't know what it is, but... Uh, it's a SNES TV cable and it's come with my old favourites, the RCA component cables. 
Now this, this was this was the nicest looking one at the event that I picked up. Uh, I saw them go on eBay for 40 or 50 quid or more, and for that to get be, got, be bought at 40 pound plus a game, I was very happy with that. Uh, yeah, so there's not a lot else really going on. I mean, I can't show you my new phone because I'm filming on it, but otherwise, uh, what else is there? I've got some videos that I want to show soon of... I want to I want to carry on with TGX. Uh, I want to carry on with Dreamcast, Saturn, all the games that I started playing on there that I play throughs, you know. But I also am still kind of in the process of planning a new sort of video. Basically, at the moment, obviously, I just I introduce the video, the the game, and then I just do footage. And the majority of people that are going to sit there and watch. 15, 20 minutes of straight video game footage, you can probably count on one hand. It's either going to be someone who needs to see a particular point of the game to get through it and they won't watch the whole video, <coughs> or it's somebody who's interested in seeing what the game like, looks like and he'll skip through it and see bits and pieces. So I'm hoping to change it up a little bit and make it... Um, I'm not trying to copy anyone, but I just think that a more logical format would be for me to, for instance, introduce the video itself, as in what it's going to be about, talk about the video game, show some footage, maybe talk over the footage and tell you what I think. So it's the first video that I show you, it's going to be an overview video, it's not going to be a, this is a 15 minutes of playthrough, and then I'll just carry on doing the playthrough if I get a chance. I'm not going to do that, I'm only going to do the playthroughs if I get requests to do them. I'm going to try and finish the ones that I've started that I've gotten a long way into, I'm not bothering with Headhunter, uh, I'm going to do, I'm going to try and finish Slave Zero, Evil Twin, and Dragon's Blood. Uh, I want to finish those three big time. Um, I need to do some more Saturn games. I need to do some more TGX. And I really want to show you guys Sturmwind. Because that is an incredible game. But I'm not sure how how best to show that to you. I don't know whether I want to do a video of me playing it. Or a video of footage. I, I don't really know. Because it's kind of hard. I don't know. I, I don't think a video of capture would do it justice. But we'll see how I feel. Um, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Anyway, uh, enjoy the revival video footage, uh, and look out for the, the remainder of my videos that are coming soon. I've got some, yeah, I've got some projects to work on. I'm not sure what. <laughs> sorry about that. Um, but yeah, all in all, there's more footage coming soon. I'm sorry I haven't been around that much, but as I said, it's been a fairly busy month, a couple of weeks. And we'll be back on the horse very soon. Anyway, that's all from me for now. I hope you've enjoyed the uh, June update. And look out for more games coming soon. I shall see you soon. Bye.